I'm meteorologist Brady Taylor with this week's Degrees of Science. And this week we're talking about a fun way to teach your kids the alphabet and introduce them to the world of beekeeping with this book. B is for beekeeping. This week we're visiting with Justin Wise, who is going to talk to us about what inspired him to write this book, his passion for beekeeping, and the impact that bees have on our environment. Here's the interview. Well, Justin, thanks for joining us. Uh, pretty cool to be a beekeeper and an author. Tell us about this cool book that you got, Bee is for Beekeeping. It's actually one of those passion projects. I never considered myself as an author, and let alone a beekeeper. It kind of just stumbled into my lap. And uh, for some reason, I felt this impression that I should start beekeeping, and that was a few years ago. Uh, however, it's always been a lifelong desire of mine to write a book. And uh, what better time than while my kids are young and to really dedicate something to them that I'm passionate about that hopefully they'll be able to pass along to their kids as well. Yeah, that's really cool. So uh, how exactly did you get into beekeeping? Uh, you know, is that as a hobby or kind of a passion of yours? How, how did you get started in that? Well, I think everybody's had at least one experience with a bee and most often it's not very pleasant. Um, and so I, I was actually scared of bees because of, uh, you know, having been stung by a wasp or a bee in, in my childhood. Um, I was actually sitting in a self-reliance conference and for no reason at all, I just had this thought come to my mind, I should look into beekeeping. And my wife is used to this by now because I, I have some crazy ideas here and there. Uh, but I texted her and I said, honey, what, what do you think about beekeeping? And she resp uh, re responded, well, what do you mean? And I said, well, I think I want to get into beekeeping. And so she kind of laughed it off, but I'll tell you, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And so I got online, I started researching, studying beekeeping and just the honeybee in general, and I was fascinated. So the first thing I did was I reached out to my friends and family and I said, hey, does anybody know anything about beekeeping? And it just so happened a buddy of mine, he's like, yeah, I've been keeping bees for a few years. And I said, that's fantastic. So I went out and checked out the, the beehives that he had a little bit um, you know, apprehensively. I was still a little bit scared, but once you're in the bee suit and, and you're protected, you feel a lot more confident in your, in your abilities. And from that point on, I was hooked. And so I started uh, beekeeping, I guess it would be about five years ago now. So you were talking about you being stung and kind of being apprehensive about it. Is it safer than probably someone like I would think it is being out there working with those bees? It is. And over time, you start getting a level of comfort working with the bees. You know what to do and definitely what not to do. And uh, most important, in my opinion, uh, is to just have the right protection, protective gear. And you can kind of see in the background here, I've got my, my veil, my, my entire outfit there. And, uh, and that just gives me uh, another sense of uh, protection and, and feeling calm working with the bees. So you're talking about having two younger kids. I'm assuming that's a lot of your inspiration for writing this book? 100%. And so uh, I love my children. They are miracle babies for us. We, we struggled with fertility for several years. And so to be blessed with uh, two children has just been um, beyond measure. It, it's brought us a, a sense of joy and happiness. And so as I think as a father, what are some of the things that I can do to, <laughs> to uh, impress my kids or, or be the cool dad? I, I don't know how to say it, but I just wanted something special that they, they could remember their dad by. And especially during this age. So my son, he's uh, four years old, he's learning how to read. And it just made perfect sense to uh, fulfill a lifelong dream of mine to write a book dedicated to my children and make it so that they can uh, learn their ABCs and enjoy something that their dad is passionate about too. Do the kids enjoy the whole beekeeping experience as well? They do. They're uh, actually great helpers. Um, they taste the honey. That's their number one job, which they enjoy the most. Uh, but in fact, we've got uh, beehives in our backyard and uh, oftentimes we'll uh, observe the hive and just check on them. Um, one of the things that my daughter likes to do the most is actually handle a drone bee. And a drone bee actually doesn't have a stinger. And so you could handle it bare hands without being uh, worried about being stung. And so I think the last one she named Biscuit. So we had a drone bee named Biscuit for a couple of days. Oh, that's awesome. So you, you've got an ABC book about beekeeping. So it does the, is it stepping you through? I know part of it, I've looked through it. It's an awesome book. Is it stepping through kind of what you do as beekeeping or just the whole general everything there is about beekeeping? Really, it's A to Z from beekeeping. And if you're just learning about beekeeping, it's going to introduce you to some new terminology, most likely. And it's done in a way that even the youngest of readers and even those that don't know how to read yet can uh, learn more about beekeeping. And so it's, it's really meant for everybody, for parents, grandparents, children. 
to just get acquainted with the subject and hopefully be interested enough by it that they could participate in some form or fashion. And the illustrations on this are awesome. Got a nice red-headed beekeeper here on the front. But flipping through it, I mean, how impressed were you with the illustrations and kind of help it keeping the attention of the kiddos in this book as well? Oh, I'm a terrible artist. And so when I had the idea of the book, I said, well, I can maybe come up with the, uh, you know, the words that I want to use and the letters, uh, but I definitely need help with an artist. And I found an incredible illustrator and she took my stick figure drawings and made them into what you see, which is uh, beautiful illustrations that uh, not only depict uh, beekeeping, but can really capture the attention and hearts of uh, parents and children alike. So coming up with A to Z about anything can't be very easy. What was the hardest letter to try to connect to beekeeping? Uh, I would probably say the letter X because not very many words in the English language that I'm aware of at least uh, start with the letter X. And so uh, being an author, you could have a little bit of creative license. And so I use the word extractor, which does use the word X. And it sounds like X right in the beginning of the word. And uh, that's a piece of equipment that beekeepers use to actually harvest the honey after uh, the frames have been full with honey. Uh, that, that's really cool. So you are a, a Texan, you live up in the DFW area. And so you're not only just a beekeeper, but more in a suburban area. How much harder is it to be a beekeeper in kind of a growing metropolitan area? You do have to be careful about that. And fortunately, I think just with the overall awareness of environmentalism and conservation and, and the importance of honeybees, a lot of municipalities have uh, enacted ordinances that make it more feasible for suburban beekeepers like myself to have uh, some hives in their backyard. And when done properly, it is safe and uh, fantastic for the neighbors. You know, sometimes you have to let your neighbors know ahead of time, hey, and then maybe bring them a little bit of honey too to let them know that there's a, a sweet reward at the end. But uh, by and large, if somebody's interested in getting into beekeeping, I would start with their uh, local beekeeping uh, chapter. And uh, they've got a lot of different associations and they can help walk you through the different steps that are required for your specific municipality to get started in beekeeping. So it, how cool is it to not only just teaching about beekeeping, but just kind of the science and environment side of all this that you're being able to teach the kids through this book as well? It is fascinating. And like I said, uh, once that thought came into my mind, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I am still amazed by these insects. Uh, you know, it's it, just when you start learning about them, and you get to interact with them and you just gain a greater appreciation of this uh, incredible insect that does so much for us. You know, we, we go to the store, we'll buy, you know, a pint of honey or whatever it may be, but really they are responsible for one out of every three bites of food that we eat. And, you know, that's one of those facts that just amazes me when I think about it. And, you know, while my two hives won't make a huge difference, uh, you know, globally, I think just being able to participate in that really cool scientific piece of uh, of the puzzle here of our ecosystem is just amazing to, to be part of. And you, one cool thing that your book does is you're not, you're helping out organizations involved in the whole beekeeping process. Tell us about some of the organizations you're helping out with your book. Yeah, so thank you for bringing that up. Um, part of the proceeds for the sale of this book I, I thought was important is to contribute to organizations that are nonprofit that help with the conservancy and the protection of honeybees and other pollinators uh, themselves. So a couple of the organizations that um, I'm currently working with is Project Apis M. And what they do is they fund a lot of research for, you know, there's a colony collapse disorder happening right now with honeybees across the world and trying to better understand why that's happening and funding those projects that will help uh, beekeepers and commercial beekeepers and bees in the wild just thrive because they play such an important role in, in our ecosystem. Uh, there's also the pollinator partnership, you know, uh, from education and helping people understand the importance of pollinators and then the bee conservancy. And they send actual uh, little bee kits, if you will, uh, that you could take and uh, have like a little home for some mason bees just in your backyard. So I, I felt like these three organizations are contributing in a very positive way to the education and research and protection of uh, this most important insect. And how important is it to, you know, to buy and eat local honey? I know there's health benefits, but also, I mean, it's good for the local economy and local habitat as well, right? Absolutely. And I think that's uh, one of the things too that I've noticed just in my experience is 
a lot of people are, are moving more towards the local. Uh, we've gone through a very difficult time through the pandemic and the food shortages and just understanding that we can grow and sustain uh, crops and, and farms and honey in this example uh, here locally. I think the better connected we are to where our food comes from, the more opportunities we have to improve the way that we live and to support the communities that, uh, that we live in. You know, and I think it's awesome, you know, that this is just one of those fun books, sit down with the kids, you know, have them trace the letters and all that fun. Where can parents find this book if they wanted to get this uh, and read this to their kids? It is available on our website, which is beesforbeekeeping.com, uh, which will actually just take you to our Amazon store. So it is uh, exclusively available right now on Amazon, and we're hoping to get it into a lot of different bookstores and uh, hardware stores and wherever it uh, makes most sense to have uh, a bee is for beekeeping book. So I, I know you, from talking to you, you're super passionate about beekeeping and all this. Is there any more books in the way or is this a one-time uh, project for you? Um, a lot of people have asked me that and I said, well, maybe C is for chicken. We've got some chickens out here. I don't know. I, this has been, this has exceeded all of my expectations already. Uh, I was thinking I would sell maybe two copies, one, one to my mom and one to my mother-in-law and then have a couple for my kids. But uh, this has been incredible just to see the, uh, the response and the support uh, from friends and family and uh, from strangers. People have reached out and thanked me for writing this book and they've been sharing it with their kids and, and grandkids, which is just, it's been amazing to be part of that. Yeah, and it, like I said, it's growing. I know people, friends of ours that do it as well and uh, very, very interesting. But I, I think also like, like you were talking about post pandemic, just having something you sit down and spend time with your kids and show them and get them outside to learn about it. It's always great to have that science connection, see it in a book, go outside and learn more about it as well. Absolutely. And I think this is just one of those uh, first steps, right? And if they are interested in beekeeping, like I said, I think going to their local beekeeping chapter is the best way to get a mentor. And the beekeeping community is a very tight knit. Uh, we support each other. Um, it is one where we are all passionate about this and we want as many people as possible to get involved. And so that would be uh, a great next step after reading the book is, is learning more. Well, Justin, I really appreciate you joining us. And again, B is for beekeeping.com. You know, need a good uh, Christmas present for the kiddos. You know, a good way to get them to learn about uh, the beekeeping. And again, just about the insects and how everything works. But Justin, we appreciate it and best of luck with your book. Thank you so much for the opportunity and uh, Let's all go out and do some more beekeeping. Sounds like a plan. Thank you.